Good morning! Welcome back to Stranded Deep, day two of Let's Play Hard. We're playing Stranded Deep on the hard difficulty level. Day one went pretty good, actually. We have a water still and a smoker. We have lots of resources, a shelter. We've been out to this cluster of shipwrecks and found a bunch of stuff. Uh, I noticed that there's a few things that I haven't picked up yet that I missed. A couple of ajuga plants and a few stray things. So I'm just going to walk around the island here or run around the island and pick these up. Uh, while I wait for the sun to come up a little higher in the sky. I'll have to head back out into the water and check out a bit more the wrecks. Try the other wreck on my left. And uh, what else? I'll need to get some food. We'll have to make sure that our water is going. And if we have enough fibrous leaves, which I don't think we're going to have enough, I wanted to build a raft as well. So, yeah, uh, I've got a couple of ajuga plants there that we can use at some point as a breath boost. We've got five crude spears, three leather. I would like to turn these spears or at least use those three leather for refined spears, but I can't do that yet. I'm not leveled up enough. I need to be level three. So we have to level up a bit more if we can. I have one ration left. My water is really low. Okay, we've got two drinks there. That helps a little. But we have no more uh, palm fronds. So I'm going to have to get some of those. And I'm going to knock down a few more trees here as well. These small little trees to get some sticks. I'm thinking if I do build a raft that I'll need quite a few sticks because I believe at this stage that the only raft base that I can build is using sticks. I'm not sure if I can build the buoy ball base yet. I don't think so, but we'll figure that out. One extra leaf, it's better than nothing. I'll have to explore that shipwreck there. But I have full inventory, so I'm gonna have to go back, dump some stuff on the beach over here. Let's grab this corrugated as well. Might as well get all of it. I like to keep things in nice, neat piles. If at all possible. Got an axe. Got an extra fibrous leaf. Still got a few more sticks. Drop this over here. I'm going to take another look at this island. I think this is our next target island. I want to sail over there as soon as we can. Uh, the sun rises between east and southeast, so that's southeast behind the shipwreck. Then it'll be south, and then that island should be southwest. I'll double check that with the compass when I'm ready to sail over there. So I'm just going to come back and check this wreck out because we didn't really check it out thoroughly before. What the? Oh, <laughs> that's got to be the tanker uh, blocking our path there. These ships are just all mashed together. It's crazy. It's making it difficult to uh, explore. It's like they're just running right through each other. 
So crate here that I missed yesterday. Normally here, uh, I'm gonna try and push myself under the water because there's usually a crate right there where I just found one. And I didn't even see that yesterday. We've survived one full day now. That's great. Doing well. We haven't been upstairs yet, so let's go up here. This is the bridge, so we can steer the ship from here. I don't think it's going anywhere though. We'll open this door. Nothing on the ground. We got in here. A lashing, great. That'll help towards our raft building. Let's see if we can find space for it. Have a space there. Take the scrap as well. <laughs> uh, inventory management in this game is crazy sometimes. Lashing. Okay, so we can move a lashing and a cloth over to the other crate. That frees up a space for the corrugated scrap. Just have to get it out of my hand. Put it in there. Don't need those. See what's out on the deck. More buoy balls. That's great. We got nothing up here. Two sets of buoy balls here. I think there were two sets down below as well. And in our vehicle tab, we can see... Oh, I actually can build using buoy balls right now. Okay, so I just need a lashing. And then we'll need, for a sail, we need a lashing, a cloth, and two sticks. And for a rudder, a lashing, a cloth, and two sticks. All right. Um, lashings are going to be the problem. So I had one on the island and I just found one in a locker so I have two I need one more lashing and if we can do that we can maybe get a uh, sailboat made just gonna check down under the water again because I didn't really check under the water down here yesterday and this was where all the yeah oh I could maybe use that no <laughs> I could maybe use that fishing spear no denied all right no worries We'll get that another time. Oh, and we've got some tires over here. Buried in the deck. There's a door here. This leads down into the uh, bottom or bowels or whatever you want to call it of the ship. Have to break this apart with an axe. Uh, I don't have any inventory space, do I? Not really. Um, I'm going to have to drop these here. They won't go anywhere, so I can just leave them here and uh, take a look down here, see if I can get anything. Ooh, big rocks. Tires. And nope. And no. Oh, there's some clay there. But nope, not going to go down there. I don't want to get stuck. Okay, what do we got in here? Engine parts, engine parts. Okay. Let's put our food in there and pick these up and oh this one I think we went through the bottom of this one before but we haven't been up on the top here got some barrels and another crate got an engine leather and another ration and I'm so low on water that I'm gonna actually eat this that really helped these rations are fantastic without them I'd really be struggling already because I have literally no uh, water. Um, what am I doing? I think I'm good. Let's go. But yeah, having that cluster of wrecks there has been fantastic. Hello, Mr. Coconut, going for a swim? Gonna try and stack these nice and neatly, uh, somewhat neatly at least. Engine parts, put that down there. Lashings and cloth, we'll need those for the raft. Got an extra label maker, put those together. Take the corrugated, put it over here with your buddies. 
Drop the cloth with the other cloth. Drop the lashings there. Got a hammer, a leather. That's nice. Another ration, more corrugated. Put you over there again. Drop that there. Okay. I'm going to try and hit this other wreck over on the other side of the island um, while I can. This is a good time of day to do it. The visibility is really good underwater. And this will help with my SPF as well. Not that it's low. It it's not going down at all because I've been basically underwater already. All right, let's see if I can squeeze through this gap here. Ooh, like a boss. Oh, no crate, come on. Oh, look, another flare gun. <laughs> oh, another ration, great. Another flare gun. Oh, I love those things so much. No, I do not. Uh, put that in there. Planks are always good. Uh, you have two of those. Put put the second one in. There you go. All right, what do we got out here? Tires, more tires, and some open ocean. So, yeah, we don't need to go that way. Let's go back. And back out the hole. Thank you. <laughs> My SPF is at full... Full protection. It's almost one in the afternoon. I have full SPF. That's great. That's what swimming underwater does for you. So I'm not even going to have to worry about SPF today. It can't deplete enough between now and the time that it no longer takes effect. It's really only between about 1.30 and 3 o'clock that you have to worry about the sun. And if you've gone swimming at all prior to that, then you won't have to worry about it really at all. And I'm just making neat piles here because I, I just hate these messy piles. <laughs> so that said, I get a really, really bad one. All right, let's, um, what are you doing? Uh, should I put them here again, or are they just going to go goofy? Or should I move? Uh, let's try and move over here. If one spot doesn't work, try a different spot. That's my theory. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. All right. I'm going to put my rations over here between the water still and the smoker. That's my kitchen area. My water's down four bars. My food's only down one, so that's not too bad at all. I can get back two waters there, but I'm out of leaves again. <sighs> what are we going to do about leaves? I'll just take another palm tree. And I'm only taking this for the palm fronds, pretty much, to go in the water still. Now, eventually this island will run out of trees, so I'm not going to be able to do this forever. It's kind of a process. We're going to have to venture off to another island and stockpile either palm fronds or fibrous leaves or both, or we'll have to start up some farms and grow some yucca plants. Now, I don't normally want to live on a small island like this, I don't know if I will in this case, just because this island has so many wrecks. But once you've searched the wrecks and raided them, then what's the point of having wrecks on your island? So I don't know. I might move to a bigger island in another day or two, depending on how far we get with the raft. Right now, we don't have enough in the way of lashings and stuff to build it. Or actually, maybe we do. I'm just going to drop these here. No! You... Dirty, rotten coconuts. You ruined my nice, neat pile. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Worry about that later. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, fibrous leaves and lashings. We have two lashings. We've got enough for one more. 
so that will make three. We need one for the base, one for the sail, and one for the rudder. So that's all right. So we need to get ourselves some buoy balls. Um, yeah, and I think these are the closest ones over here. Could have gone all the way out to the other ships, but this one is closer, and there's a pack of buoy balls right in the back here. Just have to jump up. Hello? You just have to jump up. She's not listening to me. You just have to jump up onto the uh, boat. Come on. Yep. Ah, nice try. Nice try. Give it a bit more of a run. Atta girl. Come on. You can do it. Show us the Olympian that you are. Go, 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 go. And jump. No, you. Oh. <laughs> See, just what I was going to call you a name. You got into the boat. All right. Atta girl. All right. So we've got our buoy balls. Okay, so we can build our first raft base with the buoy balls. I'll probably build it right in this little bay here. This would be a good spot. The sun should be currently between north and northwest. So if I build right here in the bay, the current should just push our raft into shore on the side here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my navigation video from a couple of days ago. Just check my YouTube channel. And I reveal some pretty interesting stuff there, including the fact that currents are always flowing from north to south. There's other good tidbits in there. Check it out. You'll learn some new stuff, guaranteed. And I'll demonstrate uh, that one little trick there in a second here once I get this built. So because I know the direction of the sun set, to the right of us here is roughly north so the current is just going to push it to the left here which is directly south and it's just going to run into these rocks and it's not going to go anywhere i can just leave it there now i don't have to worry about it drifting away on me and with the flooring i can only build a wood floor okay i can't use planks so i'm going to have to grab sticks this is again where that leveling up system is a bit annoying so I would rather use planks there, but oh well, what can you do? And we need a sail. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the rudder on here. Nah. Nope. Got to pull it up onto a rock. I'm not sure this rock is even big enough. We'll try it up on the rock here. You have to get the butt end of the raft high enough up in the air that it doesn't uh, contact the earth when you're trying to put the rudder on. Nope, still not high enough. All right, so we're going to have to pull this out into the water. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get the thing built. There we go. I'm just going to pull this up onto the beach. I don't really need to, but old habits die hard. <laughs> I'm going to secure it here on the beach, even though the current can't really push it anywhere other than into shore. So, yeah. Should probably get some fish. I'm going to grab a fishing spear and, oh God, I can't see anything here. Okay, I'm just going to grab this coconut, and I don't want to get poisoned, so I'm just going to get out of here. Um, I think I might be able to see over here where the sun is still shining on the water. Yeah, okay, there's a couple of crabs. I can grab those at least. And there's a couple of sardines. I can still get those. And that's a weed. <laughs> Can't catch that. I don't want to go out in the water when I can't see where the poisonous starfish are. Because I really don't want to get poisoned. Uh, there we go. Gotcha. Okay, so that was six. That's the maximum I can cook at one time without, you know, fiddling about with having them hovering over a fire. 
Uh, the smoker holds five and then I can attach one to the actual fire pit. So that's six that I can attach basically to the uh, smoker and get them going. And I'm going to need to eat a couple of them right off the bat anyway. So whether the one on the bottom there doesn't get smoked or not, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to skin all of these, put them on the smoker and then get it going. Light that baby up. That'll give us a bit of light too. And one for the fire pits. There we go. Hmm, we have full water. So one shy on water. And I'm going to grab a couple more uh, palm fronds while we're at it. Because we're going to need them. take the coconut because I might need that um, to top up my food or water. One of the two. Maybe both. Leveled up my cooking. Yay. Uh, it's not cooked though. So how did I level up my cooking without actually cooking anything? Hmm. Is just the act of putting it on the fire good enough? I guess it must be half cooked or something. I don't know. There must be some mechanism there. <laughs> uh, wood farming plot I could build. I don't want to build those on this island though. A water skin would be nice. Need a tanning rack though, which is kind of expensive. Ah, there we leveled up cooking again. Okay, we can take that one. It's not going to get smoked anyways, so we'll just eat it. Almost full. And almost full again. So one more piece of meat, one more drink, and we should be uh, full again. Maybe I'll use a coconut instead here. That'll give me both food and water. Drink that. Drop it. Break it apart. Eat. Not sure if I'll need both. Nope, only needed one half. Drop the other one over here. There we go. Full health, full food, full water, full SPF. We're surviving like a boss. We've got some meat smoking. We've got water brewing. Life is good. Love the graphics in this game. It's cool seeing the moon over the uh, shipwrecks and stuff. Very cool. We'll have to head back out there tomorrow and dive deeper into the bowels of the ship if we can get down there. There's a bunch of buoy balls, maybe some tires and some barrels on the other two shipwrecks. So there's plenty of uh, raft materials. Not that we really need a bigger raft at this point, but Making it a little bigger would be nice. Okay, our meat is smoked. We can extinguish the fire. And that's pretty much it for episode two. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Ugork. We'll catch you again in the next episode. Bye for now.